Similar to the better known Bert Munro, he of movie fame, fellow Southlander David Strang liked to experiment with things. Potter around in sheds, to coin a phrase. Only Strang's preferred materials, getting his hands dirty, were spices and coffee, and not pistons and valves. The one-time grocer, Strang, set up his own spice and wholesaling company in Invercargill in 1878. It operated for 116 years. In 1887, Strang patented what he termed to be dry, hot air process, what you and I now know as soluble coffee powder, or put simply, instant coffee. Remember how I told you he liked to trade in spices as well? Well, David also thought it would be a good idea to mix coca and coffee together, and then market it. That became the world's first recorded mocha. Frankly, Invercargill should really get their branding right. The home of instant coffee and the mocha. Strang's coffee was an instant sensation pun intended, became popular in kitchens throughout New Zealand, exported to Australia where it won awards. Strang now needed to expand. The question you're probably now asking is why haven't I heard of Strang's coffee before? Coffee is, after all, the second biggest traded commodity in the world. The main reason was competition. Right from the start, Strang faced both local and international competition for the space on grocer's shelves. Just 200 kilometres up the road in Dunedin, there were, alone, Greggs, Fries, and Juries, all producing coffee. Even back then, global competitors like Symington's of Scotland were also on the scene. Rivals had their own methods of manufacturing instant coffee as well. No massive fortune was made for the hard-working Strang, who ran his business almost to the day he died. It wasn't as though he died poor, though. His offspring consisted of six daughters and five sons. Both his Invercargill house and his second factory are now listed as historic places. and a major oversight listed just for their architectural importance rather than their true historical significance given the global uptake of a product like instant coffee and a mocha. Staples in supermarkets and cafes from Iceland to Chile. A significant plaque on his factory would go some small way to recognise one of the cities and New Zealand's greatest inventors. Now sit back, relax to the end of the video, grab yourself a coffee, instant of course, whilst we take a look at Strang's advertising during their glory days. Think how, given different circumstances and geography, Strang's could now be a global name when it comes to coffee. In the same vein as, say, Nestle or Lily.